Hey everybody, it's Scully. So, there was something very important I wanted to talk about in this video. I... I contemplated making this video forwards and backwards, but I decided it was something I wanted to talk about, given my own experiences recently. I figured it might open the doorway for other people to talk about it with similar experiences, possibly even more experienced than myself. I only have really limited knowledge on this topic, so um, please feel free to add to it or to enlighten me if I've missed anything. But I wanted to talk about gender identity. Um, gender is something I always found to be a very fascinating topic. You know, it's something that exists on a spectrum, unique from one individual to the next. Your gender identity is how you see yourself and your gender, how you express it. You know, you can have somebody who's male, you can have somebody who's female, you can have somebody who feels like they're both male and female, neither male nor female. There's really so many gender identities to name, and um, I feel like I hear um, more, more of them pretty often, which is really fascinating to me because, again, I, I have very limited knowledge on this topic, and I would like to keep learning and expanding my knowledge on it so that I can you know, have more in-depth conversations with people about this topic, because I do think it's very important to talk about. So, just from my own personal experience, I just always kind of felt like I was a girl my whole life. Um, but then I kind of started to notice there were certain situations where I started to feel a little bit different, maybe around different people or just different scenarios. And I guess lately I started paying attention to that a lot more and just kind of experimenting with that a little bit more and seeing how it made me feel. I don't really know a whole lot about it. It's something I'm still kind of trying to figure out. I was very afraid to talk about it at first because I just didn't know if people would understand. I didn't know if I would understand myself either. I just had a day where I just didn't feel very feminine. I just, you know, figured I wanted to start trying to do things like maybe wear ties and see how they make me feel. I have some days where I don't always feel like wearing makeup. And I just kind of feel maybe different around certain types of people. And I'm sure a lot of things um, like that are... I'm sure it's probably pretty common to feel that way to some degree. I mean, you feel different around different situations, different people... I think that's part of just being human to some degree, but I guess I just kind of started to wonder, you know, what it would be like if I just kind of dabbled in that. So, um, again, I apologize that this video is kind of random and kind of just all over the place. I just really am still trying to make sense out of it, but I wanted to share it with you guys because, like I said, there's other people that are going through this kind of thing really every day. And not just at my age, but even younger people, younger than me, go through this every day. Respect is a one-way street. I hope to open the doorway to talk about things like this because it's, it's more common nowadays. And I, I want people to be able to talk about it. I want them to be able to accept themselves, to love themselves. I, you know, I have friends that have varying different gender identities and I love them all. I love them all like my family. And, you know, I actually was kind of thankful I started to go through this because even though it was very confusing at first, I suddenly started to feel like I had a, a more deeper level of understanding and respect for people who go through this on a regular basis and deal with it more in depth than I do. So once I started to kind of, you know, feel differently, I started thinking, you know, gosh, there's people that go through this every day that feel confused, that feel frustrated on varying different degrees than what I feel. I know what I feel is probably only a smidge of what other people feel. And, you know, things are different now. You know, be proud of yourself. Be proud of who you are. Don't ever be afraid to be your true self, no matter what that is. As long as you're a good person and you do great things in the world, you're not hurting anybody by being your true self. You're allowed to be what gender identity you identify as. You know, I know things like pronouns can be kind of tricky, but let's face it. I mean, people meet you. They get to learn your name. They get to learn traits about you. They can learn your pronouns, too. And it may take some time for people to get used to that kind of thing, but just be patient with them and give them time to learn. And they will learn if they're people that care about you and respect you. They will learn and they will figure you out. And just, you know, just try your best to help them understand. 
it's, you know, sometimes it's very hard to be straightforward about this kind of stuff because maybe if things like your pronouns change, sometimes you might feel a little weird about telling people that kind of thing, but don't be afraid. Be true to yourself. You know, have, have these kind of conversations with people so that people can learn. And, you know, you'd be surprised what people can learn from conversations like this. It's, you know, it's hard to be the person to be the educator to tell people about this kind of stuff. It'd be easier if people just already knew this kind of thing. But, of course, people aren't born knowing everything. And that's why it's important to get information out there so that people can have access to it and we can educate people and we can make this world a bigger, brighter place knowing that there's different types of people out there that they, you know ways that we can help them make them feel more comfortable that's why i want these kind of topics to be discussed and if you're somebody who out there who's questioning your own gender identity if you're going through a hard time be patient with yourself because it's i mean you're not going to figure out who you are overnight you may have to dabble a little bit before you get to know who you are you may have to mess with your pronouns a little bit you may have to you know go through your wardrobe and see what makes you feel comfortable, what makes you feel happy. I mean, getting to know yourself is something that's very essential to your growth, to your happiness, and it's not something that happens overnight. So don't be so afraid to dive into that, that you just shut that door, that part of your life, and just, like, keep it hidden. It's okay to explore yourself and to get to know yourself better, because you're going to be getting to know yourself your whole life, and you might as well be somebody that you're proud of. Because you want other people to get to know you. You want other people to see the real you. Be somebody that you're proud of. Always shine. No matter what. So, I really hope this video is very helpful to people that are going through a hard time and questioning themselves. Questioning yourself is normal. It makes you human. It's nothing to be ashamed of. So keep questioning. Until you get answers. Because that's how we get answers in life. We ask questions. We question things in life because these things happen for a reason. And no, no matter what gender identity you are, no matter how you see yourself, I support you no matter what. And there's people like you out there and they'll understand you. So keep looking until you find the people that do accept you because those people are out there. Always be yourself. Always, always. So until next time, have a great day, guys.